To other news now, reports have surfaced that the China Harbor Engineering Company has begun clearing woodland on the Roaring Estate in St. Anne to make way for a luxury housing development. Now, this has sparked protests led by the Jamaica Birthright Environmental Movement, which is questioning the government's decision to grant environmental permits for the project. Joel Crosskill has the details. The Jamaica Beach Birthright Environment Movement, JABEM, again raised the volume on its advocacy with a recent protest at Roaring River in St. Anne, its latest attempt to protect territories of ecological and historical importance on the island. JABEM President Dr. Devin Taylor says greater pride of place for Jamaican interests must be afforded to sites such as these. So today we're standing up. We're standing up for our community steer town. Or we're standing up for Jamaica. Because what we do see here is a destruction of not our, only our ecological heritage, but destruction of, you know, I mean, our water resources. The Royal Bruna watershed is a protected area. And we are seeing tractors rolling, destroying our watershed. Water is life and water is security. And so we are lending our voice to the community of Steeltown and all the communities around that Jamem will not stand idly by while the government hand over 167 acres a prime property, prime watershed to the Chinese to build 800 houses that will destroy our watershed. For Jabema Outreach Officer Damien Coombs, himself a resident of the nearby Steertown community, the potential impact hits even closer to home. This area is where Marcus Garvey's father is from. And we have stories of Marcus Garvey Marcus Garvey's wife, Amy Jackie, says that Marcus Garvey was raised in the Roaring River area where he could hear when the river roared. So Marcus Garvey was raised here. So this is not just a socio-economic issue. This is not just a logistical issue. This is just not just an environmental issue, but this is an ancestral itch issue. This is an issue of our heritage. As part of the deal with China Harbor Engineering Company Czech to build the north-south link of Highway 2000, approximately 200 acres of land in Miami Bay, St. Tan, that was previously owned by the Urban Development Corporation UDC was transferred to the international construction juggernauts. We're not anti-development. This project could be easily moved to any other area along the north coast or further inland. You do not build on a watershed. Now the Duns River is listed as an ecological sensitive area and this sits right adjacent to Duns River. All the aquifers are interconnected. So we cannot sacrifice the people over money. We cannot do that when we have options. So we have asked the government to move the project elsewhere because this is not about work. It's about environmental justice. Jabem says that the communities in the immediate project environment vociferously rejected the housing development during an environmental impact assessment meeting earlier this year and have subsequently sent numerous written responses to NEPA, highlighting a variety of concerns. Dr. Taylor adds that additional support is being sought. We are aligning with all the environmental agencies across J Jamaica. This is the beginning. So we'll, we'll end this for the long haul, as long as it will take us to push back and have the government change their minds on this fool, foolish product, foolish arm endeavor that you're doing. We will be in here and we are prepared to take legal actions as well. Joel Crosskill, CVM News.